Hey, Santa Clara County residents. Are you wondering what our housing market is like right now? You probably heard of all the noise about how we are in a housing bubble and we are about to pop in any moment. So let's take a closer look at our housing market. Let's look at the statistics and see where we at in the month of July. This is Oliver, your Bay Area Realtor, and for today's video, we're going to be going over July's monthly market update. So first, we're going to go over June's numbers that were released and the five key metrics. Then we'll go over July's numbers and see where we're trending right now. And then last but not least, what does this all mean if you're considering buying or selling real estate in the Santa Clara County? So let's get started. Hey guys, so now we're at my computer screen. And right now I have pulled up my handy dandy spreadsheet that I used to summarize all the data that was pulled from July 2021 to June 2022. All these data points were pulled from Santa Clara County Association of Realtors. And the five key metrics we have are new listings, current inventory, number of closed sales, average days on the market, and median sales price. The spreadsheet is color coded to represent single family homes for green and blue for condos and townhomes. So let's get started. For new listings, this means uh, these are listings that were brought into the market for the month. For June 2022, we have 1181, which is a 11% decrease from last month of 1325 in May. For current inventory, we have 1,315, which is a 14% increase from last month. And as you can see, inventory is at its highest for almost the whole year. Number of closed sales for single family homes, we have 916, which is a 5% decrease from last month. And you can see from the trend here, it was uh, starting in July 2021. It was slight going declining as we reached the fall and winter months. It dropped in big time and then it recovered during the spring and now it's dropping again. So when we get more data from the months coming up ahead, we're going to see whether or not the demand for housing is going to decline or not. Average days on the market, we have 14, slightly uh, increase from May with three days. Median sales price, for median sales price, we have 1.805 million. That's a 5% drop from last month of May, which was $1.9 million. You can see over here in July, 2021, it was at 1655. So, you know, the number is still uh, slightly higher than what it was almost a year ago. So for condos and townhomes, for new listings, so these are new condos and townhomes that are brought into the market for the month of June. This is 550, which is an 8% decrease from last month, 595 in May. The current inventory is 575 for June. This is a 14% increase from last month, 503. Closed sales, 387. That's a 20%. Okay, so this one's a 20% decrease from last month of 482. You know, this is quite alarming because, you know, June is supposed to be a summer month. It has good sales. You know, real estate market is supposed to be very active. And, you know, the number is the exact same as in December 2021. You know, December 2021 is a part of the holiday season. Usually in any kind of real estate market, December is usually one of the slower months. So to see that it's the, almost the exact same is quite alarming. Average days on the market for June is 13 and median sales price is 965k which is 
a 10% decrease from May of 1.062500. So the trends are still there. It's, it's really quite similar from single family homes compared to condos and townhomes. You see a lot more inventory currently in the market. Closed sales is declining significantly. Average days on market is increasing and median sales price is slightly declining. So now let's look at July's numbers. I hit it from you guys, so I'm gonna unhide it. Let me see if I can get it, there you go. So we have 19 days of data that we can look at. And you know, let's start off with single family homes. For 19 days, we're at 642 new listings. Current inventory is 1,515. Okay, so this is already higher than the whole year. And, you know, it's still going to go up. We have 10 days left, and this number is only going to be higher. So there's tons of supply out there for you buyers. Number of closed sales is 373. So, you know, this is very significantly lower than June 2022. We still have 10 days, almost 10 days left. So, you know, this number can increase, but it's definitely not even going to reach probably 500. So, you know, that is very alarming. Average days on the market is 21. So that's a big, big increase from uh, June 2022. Seven day increase. Median sales price is 1745. The trend is still going down with the sales price. For condos and townhomes, same deal. New listings, 262. Current inventory is 607. Number of closed sales is 178. Days on market, 18. Median sales price, 950,000. So you see the trend here is exact same as what I mentioned earlier. We have more inventory, less sales, longer time on the market, and slightly declining sales prices. So now that we reviewed all the monthly data from June and July, now the big question is, what does this all mean? Well, for all my buyers out there, this monthly data shows that you have a lot of housing options in the Santa Clara County. On top of that, there's a lot of less competition. So that's perfect for you to make an offer with confidence. In today's market, sellers are getting rid of offer due dates and now reviewing offers as they come in. This arrangement allows for you to not have a time crunch when you're submitting an offer. For my sellers out there, home prices are still at historic highs. However, with the economic uncertainty, this could have a downward pressure on prices. This is especially true now since the feds are planning to meet again in July 26th to the 27th to see if they want to raise the interest rates to 75 basis points, which could have a big, big impact on housing prices. So with that being said, this is really a crucial time for all you sellers out there to hire an experienced realtor that can market and maximize the exposure and value of your home. So I hope you guys enjoyed my July monthly market update video. If you found this video informative, please like and feel free to subscribe and hit that bell icon to stay updated with all things real estate in Santa Clara County.